Grand Old Partisan celebrates more than 16 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I honor Seth Lowe, born January 18, 1850. After graduating from Columbia College, he prospered as a tea and silk importer. His wife was daughter of a Republican U.S. Supreme Court Justice. This do-gooder set up the Brooklyn Bureau of Charities to improve services for poor residents. Lowe was president of the city's Young Republican Club. In 1881, he defeated the corrupt Democrat incumbent for mayor. Highlights of his four-year administration included ending racial segregation of public schools and constructing new school buildings. His refusal to support the GOP's 1884 presidential nominee contributed decisively to Grover Cleveland's victory. After leaving office, Lowe was hired to merge his alma mater with other colleges into Columbia University and move the new institution from Midtown Manhattan to Morningside Heights. President William McKinley appointed him to an international peace conference. In 1901, Republicans and a civic association, Citizens Union, nominated Lowe for mayor of New York City. At a campaign rally with Mark Twain, he said, If elected mayor, I shall interpret the city ordinance in a liberal spirit and in a just one. All will have to obey the laws, but none will be oppressed by them, nor will anyone be allowed to use them in the way of procuring for himself an unfair advantage over a competitor. I will give the city a business administration, such as will aid the merchants of the city to compete successfully with the fierce competition of other large businesses." He won and cut taxes and decreased police corruption and improved public schools. Defeated for re-election by George McClellan's son, he became chairman of Tuskegee University. Back to basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandoldpartisan.com.